Jesus is still going about doing good, healing the sick, raising the dead. Hallelujah. He said, I will be perfected. I will have done what I've, I want to do. If we check Acts 10, 38, the Bible says, How God anointed Jesus Christ of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power. Let's read it. Let's read it. Let's read it. Hallelujah. Let's read it. Hallelujah. We will read the word of the Lord. We will read the word of the Lord and allow him to do what he alone can do. I tell you, Jesus is still in the business of healing the sick, of raising the dead. The Bible says, How God anointed Jesus Christ with the Holy Ghost and with power. Jesus Christ depended then. Uh, he depended on the power of the Holy Ghost when he was here on earth. He wouldn't have succeeded in his ministry without the power of the Holy Spirit. He would not have done anything without the power of the Holy Ghost to save. He would to go to the cross. He needed the strength of the Holy Ghost. He needed the Holy Ghost to help him. Yes, to even go to the cross to do everything that he did. What have you heard about Jesus? What have you heard about him? I've heard about you. I've heard about you. I have heard about you. That is why I am here. Yes. Yes. Jesus is still healing. Anything can fail, but Jesus never fails. Hallelujah. I'm sure you can see. Oh, thank God for the vaccines that are coming now. Praise God for that. I bless the name of the Lord for that. I'm telling you. I will not take what the Lord is using the medical people to do. But I tell you. Jesus is not a physician. He is the healer. Physicians can bind, they can mend, they can rub, they can put oil, they can give anti uh, antibiotics, they can do, but Jesus, he is Yahweh Rofeka. Hallelujah. He heals. Hallelujah. He does better than even any doctor, anybody. Hallelujah. When he performs surgeries, hallelujah, there is no mark there. There is no uh, 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 um, joining together. He does it and the whole place is clean. Hallelujah. That is God. So I don't know. He, has, he did it before. So he can do it again. Hallelujah. He did it before. He can do it again. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. The Lord that did it before. He can do it again. He can do it for you too. Amen. He can do it for you. Thank you, Jesus. How God anointed Jesus Christ of Nazareth. He anointed him. And what did he go, do? He, he went about doing good. He went about doing good. What are the good that he was doing? Saving, healing, delivering, casting out demons, and even raising the dead. Like what he said. He said, go and tell Herod. <laughs> Look at the way he called him. He said he was a fox. That is, Herod was very cunning. He was a bad man. Very cunning. He said, go and tell him. I will. This is what I will be doing. It's my job. I've come here to do it and nobody can stop me. Hallelujah. You are watching me today. God has called you to do all these things. Uh -uh. Why not rely on him? Rely on him very well. And let, I mean, let him help you do what he has called you to do. Amen. Jesus said, go tell him. Tell him, I am going to be healing. I'm going to be delivering. I'm going to be setting up this free. And on the third day, I will be done. Hallelujah. In fact, it's not going to be third day. It is today, today that God will reach out to you. The Holy Spirit will touch you. And you will rise up and you will be healed in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. He went about doing good. He was healing all those that were oppressed of the devil. For God was with him. Hallelujah. God was with him. God was with Jesus. God was with Jesus. He can heal that husband. He can bring him back home. He can touch his heart. He can, he can say a fata. He can say be open for those that are shorter. He can shut some doors that are, sub, now are not supposed to be opened. There is nothing God cannot do. Hallelujah. There is nothing God cannot do. There is nothing Jesus cannot do. There is nothing, nothing, nothing. There is nothing he cannot do. There is nothing. He can't, there is nothing he cannot do. One thing I know he cannot do is God cannot lie. Hallelujah. God cannot lie. You know, I get very excited when I'm talking about what God is doing, what God has done, what he's about to do. I get so excited. His word is powerful. His, go, his word is active. His word is live. In Hebrews chapter 4 verse, 11, verse 12. Hebrews 4 12. I'm going to read it now. 
What did the Bible says? The Bible says that for the word of God is quick. The word of God is living. Who is the word of God? No, I didn't say what is the word of God. I said who is the word of God? The word of God is Jesus. The Bible says in John chapter 1 verse 1. That in the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God. The same was with God in the beginning. Hallelujah. Hey, hey. Thank you, Jesus. The word of God is, is quick. You can as well say Jesus is quicker. Jesus is living. Jesus is alive. Hallelujah. I'm powerful. He's active. Hallelujah. Sharper than any two-edged sword. What is a two-edged sword? You know, they said normally a sword, one side will be very, very sharp. And the other side end will not be. But a two-edged sword has everything sharp. Everything sharpened. Everything quick. Yes. But do you know what? Hmm. I heard from one of my daughters this morning. She was saying that when, when the word of God, when you use the word of God, the word of God, you don't need to wait 48 hours. Do you know that there are some antibiotics? You may have to wait. They will say, okay, in three hours, it will kick in. In eight hours, it will kick in. Immediately, it will kick in. Or some hours, it will kick in. But the word of the Lord, hallelujah, it does not have any side effect. It kicks in. At every, at every, I mean, immediately you use it. Immediately you begin to use it. The word of the Lord kicks in. Why? Because it is quick. Hallelujah. It is powerful. Hallelujah. It is sharper. Hallelujah. It is very, very sharp. That any two angels sword. Hallelujah. It can penetrate everywhere. It can go as far. It can go as near. That is the word of the Lord. It can discern. Hallelujah. It can discern. It can go anywhere. That is the word of God. And who is the word of God? Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Before you take that medication, why not talk to Jesus about it? Yes. Me, eh? It got to a stage, I was just telling God, Lord, I don't want any knife to cut me again. Yes. I want to just rely solely on you. It has it happened before it can happen again. Well, I mean, the faith of the old. The faith of the old. There were doctors in the days of Jesus also. There were physicians in the day of Jesus also. Uh, yet Jesus healed. Ah, he did now. He did. I bless the name of the Lord for those that have been healed through uh, 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 medication and so on and so forth. Yes, I have been healed before through it. Yes, but do you know what? Do we have anything, anything troubling you that are uh, defied um, uh, 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 medication? I say, oh, oh, no. This one, we cannot do anything. It happened before. Yes. If there is any situation like that, before we end this meeting this morning, by the mercy of the Lord, you will encounter Jesus and you will be healed in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. You, I have heard about you, Jesus. What have you heard about Jesus? Number one, I have heard that he saved. I have excuse me i heard that jesus saved luke 19 verse 3 hallelujah hey thank you jesus luke 19 3 if you are sick you are watching me get ready to be healed get ready to be healed i am so so i know i know it of a truth i know the holy spirit does not disappoint Left for me, I can't do anything. But the Holy Ghost is here. He's going to glorify Jesus. And he's going to heal today. I have heard that Jesus saved. Hallelujah. Luke 19.3. Luke 19.3. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Luke 19.3. The Bible says, And he sought to see Jesus, who he, he was. And that, this was the case of, um, of Zacchaeus. Oh, in those days, Zacchaeus was not only a tax collector, he was a thief. He was robbing his own people. Yes, people hate him. They don't even want to see him. To make matter worse for him, he was very short. And do you know what? Yes, short. S-H-O-R-T. He was very short. And do you know what? They would have massacred him. Assuming he went with the crowd, he, he knew what he needed to do. He went and he climbed the tree. He climbed the tree. He climbed the tree. And do you know what? In verse 3. And he sought to see Jesus who he was. And could not for the press. Because he was a, of a little stature. He was little of stature. He was very small. He was very short. In fact, some people said that he was a dwarf. 
Jesus, yeah, I heard that Jesus saved. And But what happened? By the time you get to verse 5, hallelujah. By the time you get to verse 5, let's check verse 5. What happened? What happened? The Bible says, And it came to pass that as the people pressed upon him to hear the word of God, he st- mm. Oh, sorry. <laughs> this one has... Uh, Luke chapter 19. Oh my goodness. Okay. Wait. Let me just go and look for it. Luke 19 verse 5. Luke 19 verse 5. Luke 19 5. Yes. The Bible says, And when Jesus came to the place, he looked up and saw him and said unto him, Zacchaeus, make haste and come down for today, not tomorrow, for today, not tomorrow, today, I must abide in thy house. Jesus wants to abide in your house. Jesus wants to stay in your house. Oh, yes. If Jesus could could, could save this man, a sinner, filthy, even his family ran away from him. Do you know what? He can save you. He can save you. I don't know that sin that is so deep and say, oh, no, I have killed people. I have shed blood. I have aborted. I have done this. I have done that. I'm not sure Jesus can. Oh, yes, he can save you. He can save you. The only thing you need to do is to say, Jesus. Son of God, son of David, have mercy upon me. This and this and this and this is what I have done. I have done this. I have killed before. I have aborted. I have slept around. I have masturbated. I have fornicated. I have committed adultery. I have I am drunk human blood. Whatsoever you have done, confess to him. He will save you. Oh, yes. The Bible says he will come and save you. He will come and save you. Jesus is always going about doing good. So this morning, he will do you good. I want to hear three, I mean, some powerful amen there. He will do you good. Jehovah will do you good. Yes, Lord. You know the meaning of Jesus? Yahweh saves. Hallelujah. Jesus means save, salvation, save, savior. Hallelujah. Yahweh saves. He will come and save you. He will come and save you. He will come and save you. Today is the day of salvation. Don't let it go to tomorrow. The Lord told Zacchaeus, he said today, 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 today. I'm coming to your house because salvation is landing in your house. Salvation is landing in your home in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Number two, I have heard that Jesus healed issues of blood. These days, it's not only women that has issues of blood, even men. Oh, yeah. There are cases of uh, situation where men are, 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 are passing blood. Yes. So issues of blood can be anything. Yes, it's an issue. It's an issue that has blood with it. It's an issue that has blood, and that is my own definition. It's an issue that has blood with it. Today, the Lord Himself will see to it in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. If we check Luke chapter 8, you know, some of these passages are from Luke. You know, Luke was a doctor. Yeah, he was a doctor. That's why, if you go to read the book of Luke, he, he put details there. Because as a doctor, he, 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 I mean, he, he was looking, wow, 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 he was wowed, amen. Jesus wowed him. He was a follower of Jesus, amen. Jesus wowed, wowed him. What he had about Jesus wowed him. Mm-hmm. It, it wowed him. Yes. So if we check Luke chapter 8. Let's go to Luke chapter 8. Hallelujah. Luke chapter 8. We're going to verse 43. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Bye-bye. Heal your daughters. Heal your sons, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. Give your children testimony, Baba. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. In verse, in verse 43. The Bible says. Hallelujah. The Bible says, And a woman having an issue of blood 12 years. I don't, I don't know. How that could be? 12 years. Even the period of 5 days. Of let's say at most 1 week. <sighs> you are tired. If it's a woman that is anemic. Oh my goodness. The person will be so white. Now 12 years. 
12 years. Oh my goodness. 365 days times 12. What is that? This woman had issue of blood. Issue bleeding for 12 years. The Bible said that he had spent all her living of poor physicians. Oh, they recommended Dr. X to her today. She goes there. Dr. T today, he goes there. Dr. U today, he goes there. Dr. Z tomorrow, he goes there. Dr. X tomorrow, he goes there. She, she went there. Why? Because she was looking for solution. Don't look for that. Jesus Christ, the Nazarene, is there. Jesus Christ of Nazareth. He's passing your way today. He's here today. He's here today. Today, April 9, 2021, it will mark the beginning of greeting for you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Do you know? People don't really have faith in the word of God again these days. Why? Oh, I got my I got my doctor, you know. I got my family doctor. Yes, it's fine. I'm not saying you should not have your doctor. But do you know what? There is a physician in the house that you don't need to take those medications that has side effects. He will heal you without you paying a dime. The only payment you can give to him is to say, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. He is to say, thank you, Jesus. Trust him. Believe his word. No, no, no drug can, 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 can heal death. No drug can heal some things. I tell you, bring it to the feet of the physician, the Yahweh Rofeka, and let him touch you this morning in Jesus' mighty name. I add that Jesus, what he healed issues of blood, he's still healing it today. And in case you have a problem with your bowels, you have a problem with your with, with your uh, ovaries, you have a problem inside of you that demand that you have to go for anything. Ah, the Holy Ghost. We send forth healing and you'll be healed this morning in the mighty name of Jesus. If only you will just believe. Hallelujah. I believe. Yes, Lord, I believe. Yes, Lord, I believe. It is well with me. It is well with your tummy. It is well with your soul. It is well with everything that is inside of you. All your organs in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I heard, number three, that Jesus raised the dead. Mm -hmm. Yes, so. He raised the dead. Luke chapter 8 verse 42. Just before that story of that woman with issue of blood. Jairus came running. Jesus, have mercy upon me. Save me. My daughter is dying. Jairus cried. The daughter is dying. Jairus cried. Have you heard the story of uh, Papa Benson Idaosa? One of the generals of the Lord. You know? His pastor preached one day and said, do you know that Jesus can raise the dead? The man, it as if he has never heard before. After service, he went to his pastor and said, pastor, 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 let me ask you a question. Did you, excuse me, did you say that Jesus can raise the dead? The pastor says, yes, it's written in the Bible, like the story of Jairus' daughter, like the story of the, that, that, that man, that son of the widow of Nain, that like like uh, uh, Lazarus, he said, "Yes, Jesus raised the dead before; he can do it again." Ah, ah, ah! Papa Benson, that was, I said, "Oh, are you serious? Are you saying it?" Okay, if Jesus can raise the dead, I'm going out to look for dead people. <laughs> and I put it on this platform this morning. If there's anyone dead and you have and and maybe you you are thinking oh this person is, is not supposed to go if we pray i guarantee you if it's the will of god that person will rise again to the glory of god the father that is how <laughs> how 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 different homes uh, until god had mercy upon him he got to a place and they said oh a young girl just died he said oh really give her to me <laughs> give her to me 
she, he said he put the, the girl down and he began to pray. He began to pray and he was praying, he was praying, he was praying. He said, the more he prayed, <laughs> the deader the girl. <laughs> the more he prayed, oh my goodness, uh, the colder the girl, oh God. Uh, the more he prayed, oh my goodness, uh, the, the, the blue, the more blue the child be, 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 became. He said, so he went to his Bible. He opened this particular passage uh, of the scriptures uh, where the Lord sent out those, uh, I mean, like Luke chapter 8. Uh, let's read verse 49. Hallelujah. Luke 8, 49. Thank you, Jesus. Are you charged up this morning? Do you believe that the word of the Lord, what you have heard about Jesus can actually happen to you? Do you believe? Do you believe? Hallelujah. You know, when they said, oh, your daughter is dead, Jesus said, don't worry. Your daughter is not dead. Your daughter is not dead. He will, she will rise again. Don't worry. She will be healed. Don't worry. Believe in the God that gave the knowledge to the pharmacy to create the Tylenol. Believe in the God that gave the knowledge to, for the pharmacy to create the, the, the Advil. Believe Jesus. Believe God. And he will do what he has proposed to do in the name of Jesus Christ. That is how my faith can carry me. Yes. Yes. There are things that, let me tell you, vaccine, drugs cannot heal. Only God can heal. Yes. The kind of faith you have in those drugs, why not have it in God? Have faith in God. Have God's kind of faith. Jesus told Jairus, he said, don't be afraid. You just believe. Believe and she will be healed. Believe and she will be healed. Believe. Hallelujah. And what happened? The Bible says that when he saw those people, Jesus, Jesus did what? Jesus put all of them out in verse 54. He took all of them and said, get out, get out, get out, get out. Don't use your cry to, 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 to make my faith go. Yes. Papa Idaosa said, he, she, he said, oh, oh, okay. Jesus sent those people away. So he told, he took all the people that were there and he sent them out. He said, everybody, out, out, go out, go out. Hey, she, he sent them out. He went further. And the Bible says that it was only the mother and the father that was there. So he called the parents of the child. He said, okay, come in. And he locked the door. And he went back again. And he said that, what did Jesus say? Jesus said, made, arise. Let's check. Yeah, he said, made arise. And he took, he told the girl, he said, made arise. And the girl sneezed and he rose up. That was not in the Bible. It happened in Nigeria, Benin City in Nigeria. Yes. God raised, I mean, raised that girl up. Yes, he can do it again. And I'm challenging anybody. You have anything dead in your life. Brain dead. Organ dead. Whatsoever is dead. Why not just believe? Believe. Believe that God can raise this dead thing up. And he will. Hallelujah. Believe. Oh my goodness. Ah. <laughs> he did it for me before. He can do it for you. Yes. He did it for me. He did it in my life. That was how that girl, I mean, rose up. His Papa, Papa Daosa said, when that girl rose up, he said, wow, Jesus, you did this. Okay, now mm, I'm going. He said he was fired up and he still went about looking, going from house to house. Is anybody dead here? <laughs> Is anybody dead here? In his lifetime. If I'm not mistaken, he said he has raised about either six or sixteen. Well, no, it should be six. Six people from the dead. What am I trying to say? Jesus himself said, greater things you shall do. Greater things you shall do. Greater things you shall do. Do you believe? Yes, sir. Sister Allah, you are welcome in Jesus' name. Yes, sir. Do you believe? Do you believe? Hallelujah. The same thing he told Mary and Martha. I said, just believe. Don't you remember that I said I'm the resurrection and the life? Yes, he is. He is. Oh, you know, some people can say, oh, it's nothing. I don't think so. It's it, The girl was not dead. No, she was dead. But God that is living, 
God that is quick, that is alive, he raised that child up. Hallelujah. He will raise you up in Jesus' mighty name. You will arise in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Sir. Whatsoever is dead in your life, receive the quickened power of the Lord, the power of the Holy Ghost, the power of resurrection today in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Let's be quick. Number four, I have heard that he healed all kinds of diseases that could have led to death. Yes. There are some sicknesses that could have led to death. In Luke chapter 7 verse 1. Luke chapter 7 verse 1. Hallelujah. Luke chapter 7 verse 1. The Bible says, Now when he had ended all he said in the, in the audience of the people, he entered into Capernaum. And a certain centurion's centurion servant, who was there unto him, was sick and ready to die. And ready to die. You see? And ready to die. Jesus can heal all kinds of sicknesses that could have led, that could, I mean, Jesus healed all kinds of sicknesses that could have led to death. Everywhere he went, ah, he was doing good. The mighty healer, he healed the lepers. Oh, when the cripples saw him. They started walking, 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 walking. Everywhere he went. Ah, Jesus was doing good. Baba, we do you good. <laughs> I pray one more time. God, we do you good. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The Lord, we do you good. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Luke 7, 1. I mean, that verse 2. The death that, I mean, sickness that could have led to death. Jesus healed it. Luke chapter 7, verse 1. Luke 13, 10, 2. He just went about doing it. That is Jesus for you. That is Jesus for you. He's still doing it. And he will do it again. In the mighty name of Jesus. He will do it again, God. We do it again. In, in the synagogue, he went to church. Jesus went to church. Hallelujah. And there, there was a woman. See, there was a woman. Behold, there was a woman. Which are the spirit of infirmity for 18 years. I don't know how long you have been carrying whatever you are carrying. I don't know. The spirit of infirmity is, is responsible for, for, for sicknesses and diseases. And the Lord rebuke that spirit of infirmity in your life today. In Jesus mighty name. If only you will believe God. I'm not saying you should believe what I'm. Believe me. I cannot heal you. But I serve a God that I'm bringing his word to you today. That this Jesus, he healed. I have heard about him. That he healed all kinds of sicknesses that could have led to death. I'm telling you, that woman would have been bowed till she died. For 18 years. Wow. The devil is a wicked devil. 18 good years. My goodness. The child that was given birth then would, would have been going to the university i'm telling you ha she was bowed let's assume that that woman was just got, just got married at the time that she bowed the husband would have left why there is no way that they can even i mean be a husband and wife no intimacy she wouldn't have been able to get pregnant because she was bent over. She wouldn't have been able to push because she was bent over. She wouldn't have been able to walk anywhere because nobody will hire her. Ah! I wonder the kind of life that woman lived. Until Yahweh Rofeka, Jesus. <laughs> Hallelujah. Until Jesus said, no, it is time for me to do that which I can do. For me to do which I have come here to do. To heal the sick, to raise the dead, to, to, to cast out demons. And the Lord Jesus Christ cast out the demon in this woman. Hallelujah. He said, woman, you are loosed. You are set free. And I'm saying the same thing according to the word of God. Woman, thou art loose from your infirmity. Thou art loose from that sickness. You are loose from that disease. You are loose in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. You might be wondering, but I'm a man. Oh, yes. When Lazarus came out of the tomb, what did Jesus say? Jesus said that 
Lose him and let him go. So I speak to you, man. I said, lose him and let him go in Jesus' mighty name. Every infirmity troubling you, lose him and let him go in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. A story was told of Papa Kenneth Hagin. He was down. He was skinny. In fact, he was left to die because they've already given up on him. Even the doctors could not help him. The doctor said, oh, don't worry. This one is a goner. Oh, we cannot save him. Just prepare a place for him to be buried. He ain't gonna make it. Mm -hmm. They've already given up on him. Until one day, by the mercy of the Lord, he gave his life to Jesus. And he began to read the Bible. And he came to a place where where you can be healed by faith he said he believed god and he prayed lord heal me and the lord healed him and he was still lying down and the holy spirit said if truly you are healed why not stand up and i want to put it to you woman or man whosoever you are if you believe that the prayer we have prayed this morning that you are healed stand up oh but my leg my legs are weak get up get up Stand up from that wheelchair. Stand up from that bed of infirmity. Stand up from that bed of sorrow. Get up right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Get up, get up. I'm telling you, as you are getting up, you will receive strength in your legs. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Papa Kenneth Hagin said that as he is, okay, Lord, if you say so, I will stand up. He said that he, he held the the, the 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 rod that was uh, I mean the rod of his, of of his bed uh, is and he began to stand up. He said his we his legs were weak because he has not walked for a long time. He was so weak. He was shaking. But he said no. I will keep on doing it. I will keep on. I will keep doing it. I will keep doing it until he began to walk. Hallelujah. By the end of that day, he was running about around. Hallelujah. I said receive your healing this morning in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Rise up and be healed in Jesus' mighty name. The Holy Ghost is there. Holy Spirit, you are welcome in this place. Hallelujah. Rabba Shata. He called us soto. Holy Spirit, thou art welcome in this place. Hey, omnipotent Father of mercy and grace. Thou art welcome in this place. Hallelujah. I don't know, but I believe strongly in my heart. And that's all that matters. I believe strongly in my heart for as many as believe the Lord and his word this morning. You will receive your healing in the name of Jesus. In your bones, in your marrows, in your leg, in your organs. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Blessed be your name, Baba. In the name of Jesus Christ. Yes. Number five. I have heard about Jesus that he opened blind eyes. Mm -hmm. He opened what? Blind eyes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Are you clapping for Jesus to call him blind Bartimaeus? I don't want to call him blind Bartimaeus. Because even as God has healed him of his blindness, people still address him as blind Bartimaeus. Eh? He was the son of Timaeus. He heard about Jesus. Hallelujah. He heard about Jesus. He heard about him. Mark chapter 10, verse 46. Mark 10, 46. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Blessed be your name, Daddy Mio. In the name of Jesus Christ. He said, and they came to Jericho. He came to Jericho. He went out of Jericho. Nothing was reported that Jesus did. Mm -hmm. Let him not come to your life today and, and go out of your life without impacting you with something. Hallelujah. Let Jesus come to your life. Let him impact something. Bible said that he came to Jericho and he went out of Jericho. Nothing was recorded. The Bible did not record anything that he did significant. The Bible is, is pure. The Bible is rich. The Bible is true. If he had done something, we would have known. Yes. Ha. <laughs> but Bartimaeus said, no, 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 no. It ain't gonna happen. He cannot just come like that and he will not touch me. He touched me. Oh, he touched me. 
and oh, oh the joy that floods my soul hallelujah something happened and now i know he touched me and made me whole hallelujah blind batimius mm-hmm. or oh, let me say batimius said no 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 when he was still blind he said no jesus you cannot just come to jericho and just go out like that without you doing something you must do something in my life hallelujah you have to do something i have come to meet you on rise and be healed today lord uh, do something for me do something for me do something for me yes lord uh, do something for me ah, and god will touch you god will every organ that is in you that needs replacement uh, begin to receive the replacement today in the mighty name of jesus receive replacement uh, receive brand new ones uh, receive brand new ones uh, receive brand new ones do you know that papa hagen lived more than 70 years after god healed him after god healed him They've already written him off. In fact, they were waiting for him to die. But did he die? No, because uh, he stood by the word of the Lord uh, that is quicker and sharper and powerful and sharper than any two edges sword. Uh, depend upon the word of the Lord today and see what God will do for you in the name of Jesus. Whatsoever it is, whatsoever it is, I tell you, whatsoever it is, try Jesus. You have tried every medication, try Jesus. Try Jesus my sin, try Jesus queen, try Jesus, uh, 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 just try Jesus. Oh yes, Mama Judy, I agree with you this morning in the mighty name of Jesus. No longer with problem with your kidney or lungs or blood in your, in your leg. In the name of Jesus, hallelujah. Yes, Lord, Baba, this is on you, Lord Jesus. This is on you, Father. Lord, that you will heal your daughter, you will touch her this morning. Lord, to the glory of your name, Lord. Nobody will take this glory but you, Baba. Lord God Almighty, that your daughter will testify in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Blind Bartimaeus, he did not care what anybody was saying. There were people that were, they were, they were, they, they have sight, but they were even blind spiritually. Physically, they could see. They could not see the, 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 the power in Jesus. They could not see the power in Jesus. Yes, number five is, we have heard about Jesus that he opened blind eyes. They could not see power in Jesus uh, to open their eyes, uh, to spiritual eyes. Uh. Only Bartimaeus saw it that day. I said, Jesus, no, 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 no. You cannot go to ba- uh, Jericho and come out like that without touching me. And he received his healing. Uh. Today, receive your healing. Physical blindness, receive, receive sight. Uh, uh, spiritual blindness, uh, receive sight. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Number six, I have heard that Jesus healed deaf and dumb. Mm-hmm. The man that could not talk, the man that could not hear. He could not talk, he could not hear. He could not talk, he couldn't hear. Mark chapter 7 verse 31. Matthew 9, 32 and 33. Luke 11, 14. There are demons, there are some demons that are responsible for deaf and dumb. Yes. <laughs> I have heard that he could heal deaf and dumb. I have heard it. Hallelujah. I have heard it. Have you heard it? Have you heard what the Lord has done? He has destroyed the world. He is destroying the works of Satan as we speak in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, brother, rise up. Oh, sister, rise up. It is time for your healing in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. You will share testimony. You will testify. You will testify. You will testify. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Mark 7 31. Mark 7 31. Let's quickly go there. Mark 7 31. Thank you, Father. Blessed be your name, my Father. Blessed be your name, Lord. Blessed be your name, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Even this coronavirus, all these variants that is flying about. Jesus is in the business of healing. 
I'm telling you, so many times, so many of us have been in contact with this with this coronavirus. But God just said, no, 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 no. Daughter, son, I will save you. Hallelujah. Mm, mm. Thank you, Father. We we'll start from, from that verse 31 down. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Let me quickly read it now. Amen. Thank you, Father. This was where he healed a deaf man. And they brought him a, a man that was deaf, had impediment in his speech, and they beseeched him to put his hand on him. Jesus took him aside and said, Come, come, son, I will heal you. And what did Jesus say? He said, Ephata, Ephata, be opened. Therefore, I stand upon this word of the Lord. And I say, a father be opened in Jesus' mighty name. A father be opened in Jesus' mighty name. The Bible says, He that had the key of David is holy and true. He that opens and no man shuts, he that shuts and no man opens. Hey, reka shatali godobo, ike suto yanda lababa. Everything that is that seems so deaf and dumb in your life, in Jesus' name, a father be opened in Jesus' mighty name. Ha, maribo shoto korobo sata. Yes, sir. It was in verse 34 that Jesus said, Be opened. The Bible says in 35, and straightway, he didn't wait for 40, 48 hours. He didn't wait for 24 hours. He didn't wait. It was right away. The Bible says his ears were open and the string of his tongue loose. If there's anything, tie your tongue down. Be loose right now in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Thank you, Father. Lastly, this morning, I have heard that Jesus died. He rose. He went to heaven, and I tell you, he's coming back again. Hallelujah. He's coming back again. Oh my God, he's coming back again. He went away and promised that he's coming back again. He's coming back again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's coming back again. Oh, glory, hallelujah. He's coming back again. He's coming back again, do you know? I have heard that Jesus died. He rose. Death could not hold him captive. For death could not hold him captive. Hey, even in the grave, Jesus is Lord. Evil death could not hold him captive. Even in the grave, Jesus is Lord. Yes. I heard that Jesus died. That's number seven. Number <clears throat> seven. He died. He rose. He went to heaven, and is coming back again. Either anybody likes it or not. Either a man or a woman or a child likes it or not. Jesus died. He rose. He went to heaven. Hey, he's coming back again. He will come. Hallelujah. He will come. Hallelujah. Oh, some people have been saying, are you sure we have been hearing ah, during the time of my great, great grandmother that Jesus will come and we have not seen him? Oh, yeah, he will come. He will come. Are you ready to meet your God? Are you ready to meet this God? God is terrible with sin. He does not condone it. He does not like it. It's time for you to give your life to Jesus. It's time for you to say, Jesus, save me. Have mercy upon me. Forgive me my sins. I receive you. I confess you as my Lord and Savior. I receive you as my personal Savior. My Lord and personal Savior. Save me, Lord.